Hey everyone, this is my boyfriend Jonah. Hey. And today I am going to show you outfits you can make from your boyfriend's closet. The first outfit that we put together is this polo t-shirt that Jonah has and I wore it with a pair of my jeans and Air Force Ones and a belt. This polo is from Junior's Restaurant. It is located in Times Square and in Brooklyn, um, but it's like the most touristy restaurant that you can go to in Times Square. Great cheesecake. I have eaten there a few times, but Jonah worked there for like... Almost two months before everything happened. He got like a sweatshirt and some t-shirts, some polos to work there, and this one he never even wore, so he gave it to me. Kind of a fun novelty polo, but I thought it looked cute. I tucked it into my bra to crop it. Maybe one day I'll actually crop it. And I'll kind of look like a poser because I'm wearing a junior's shirt. But it's cool. It's like a novelty. Yeah, you thrifted it. Yeah. From me. Thrifted it. How would you rate this outfit? I would rate this outfit an 8 out of 10. I think it looks pretty cool. 8 out of 10. Yeah. Do you like it? Yeah. Okay, so outfit 2 is I have some brown cargo pants that I wore with. Jonah has this cool NASA shirt and then this train conductor hat. It's not it's, really a train conductor hat. It's just a like blue a, and white pinstripe. I guess it's a baseball. Five panel hat. Well, I really like this outfit a lot. I, I was not sure about this one, but I thought like that was pretty cute. Nice. The shirt, I will say it's a little wrinkly, but that's okay. But I thought it looked cute. The white t-shirt with the cargo pants and my Air Force Ones and the hat. I would give this one, honestly, a nine out of 10. Whoa. It was comfortable. I I love my brown cargo pants, but it's really hard for me to find things that I like to wear with them. So all you need is a big t-shirt and a baseball hat from your boyfriend's closet, your friend's closet, someone's closet you're stealing things from to make a new outfit. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this next outfit is one of the only outfits that I'm wearing as a piece that it's not meant to be worn as that kind of piece. Wait, okay. <laughs> this next item is Jonah's green coat that I wore as a dress. It has these little ties inside, which was really nice. We could cinch it to my waist and the coat was long enough that I could wear it as a dress. I will say it was a little bulky. So I wore Jonah's brown belt. Um, it was a little loose, so I had to wear this little black belt underneath it to kind of cinch it in. Why didn't I just wear my own brown belt? Well, because I don't own one, and I need one. This is a reoccurring theme in every video. I say I wish I had a belt. This outfit, I hate to do it to you, Jonah. It's a four out of 10. No way. Because. Eight, at least. Because it was really cute, and like I could see it like Paris Fashion Week, like you, someone's walking down and they're wearing, you know, this oversized green jacket as a dress, but functionally. Well, okay. Yeah, you're not gonna wear it to the grocery store. I'm not gonna wear it to a nice dinner or like, I could maybe wear it in like a photo shoot, maybe for an Instagram picture, but this, right. I could not just go That's out on the, the town point. and wear. No. All right, I'll make it a five out of 10. All right. It was a little uncomfortable. It was kind of falling off of me. I wouldn't say I would ever want to wear it again. All right. So up next, we have this oversized sweatshirt and the beanie. So this look is the oversized sweatshirt. I have a collared shirt on underneath and a long skirt and the beanie and some Converse. It's very like Brooklyn. I'm walking around in Dumbo. Mm -hmm. I could have put on some glasses too. Oh. I might have a copy of like Pride and Prejudice in my backpack. I'm gonna go to a coffee shop and read. Interesting. That's not what you were thinking? <laughs> That's not the vibe that I oh. <laughs> Because I think you were probably thinking it was gonna be more of like a skater girl look. Mm -hmm. But the skirt made it not. I was just thinking skater girl because I saw a girl on Pinterest mm -hmm. in the same skirt at a skate park on a skateboard. In the same skirt, really? Yeah. That tight? Mm-hmm. 
Like I usually wear just like a nice skirt. I wouldn't say, oh, we want to go to the skate park. Let me put on my skirt. Well, no, but for I, Pinterest. I liked it. It. I think it didn't read as well as I wanted it to because the skirt goes up so high. I kind of just looked a little bulky. But I mean, I still think it was fun. Like I would still wear it. All right. So what's your rating? I would give this one a six out of ten. It, that's not a bad score. Was that one your favorite? I well. He hasn't actually seen me in like any of these. It, it was cool. I love an oversized sweatshirt and a collared shirt, but I usually go with the shorter skirts. Can I show you the picture? Yeah. Oh, okay, not the same skirt, but same vibes. I get it, I get it. Like, I would not be able to skateboard in that. Well, I'm not well, really, really able to skateboard, to skateboard that anyway. well in the first place. <laughs> so this next outfit is Jonah's suit jacket. It's with this bodycon dress and I'm wearing some like combat boot heels that I have. And I really liked this. I thought it was fun, it was edgy, it was very like editorial. I think I could get away with wearing this in the city. I mean, definitely in New York City. You see people in this kind of thing all the time. I felt really powerful in it. So I would give this one a 6.5 out of 10. It's still a good score. I I'm just gonna say higher. those the outfits I have rated higher so far, I would just pick those out any day and be like, oh yeah, I'm gonna throw this on. You know, you're going to dinner on the Upper East Side, a fancy ballroom, a smoky club. Two different things, I know. But you can wear that to both. Okay. That's like an outfit that's like, I am my own date, don't mess with me. True, because if I was your date, I wouldn't have anything to wear because you're in my jacket. next outfit was something that when I was looking at it I kind of hated it and then when I put it on I kind of hated it and then when I put the whole outfit together I loved it oh it is this flannel that Jonah's wearing and one of his just plain gray Nike t-shirts I wore it with my Levi's jeans my oversized jeans and my Air Force Ones. It gave me such like a 90s vibe. Mm -hmm. I loved it. Like Good. everything was kind of loose and oversized. I tucked the gray Nike t-shirt into my bra again. So it was kind of like that cropped feel. The Air Force Ones are already super 90s in the first place. So I just kind of went with it, my Levi's. It was kind of like a modern vintage look. Nice. I liked it, nine out of 10. Whoa. It was nice. The only reason it's not a 10 out of 10 is Mostly because of me being scared I'm gonna sweat through the gray t-shirt because I sweat through everything. But everybody sweats. I know, I just sweat a lot. Okay, and for this very last outfit, the grand finale, I wore a sweater vest over Jonah's, like a button up khaki shirt with my jeans and this bolo tie. This bolo tie, Jonah's been trying to get me to wear for months. Mm -hmm. He found it when he went home, like over the holidays, and he called me and he was like, I'm bringing you back this bolo tie. You're gonna rock it. We're gonna find an outfit for you to wear with it. And he has been very persistent with the bolo tie. And I think this outfit is the I perfect outfit works. for it. Yeah. I've only, I wore it once ever. Where? Our teacher, Mr. Morgan, wore a bolo tie every day. So we bought them and wore them to class one day. I made a fatal mistake at the beginning of this outfit. I picked out docks to wear with it and I showed it to my roommates, showed it to Jonah. They were like, that is not it. There's something wrong with this outfit. So then I changed to the Air Force Ones and I think that made it a lot better. I love my sweater vests that I got. I know that's like a big trend right now, people wearing sweater vests, but usually, you know, the girls just wear them with like their little collared shirts and skirts and stuff. But no, we're going all in with the sweater vest. Mm -hmm. We took the trend and we made it our own. Bolo ties are going to be coming into fashion in 2021, and I'm going to start the trend. All thanks to me. All thanks to Jonah. I'm going to rate this one 9 out of 10. Whoa. Okay, and that is all of the outfits. So if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I've been really loving making these outfit videos lately mostly because I have nowhere to go and I want to wear nice clothes. So I just get it all out, you know, putting on outfits in my room. Have fun stealing other people's clothes and making their outfits your outfits. 
Bye.